The upcoming Jumanji sequel has already started the complaint generation coming out in Blog Force 5, not for the obvious reasons of remaking the supposed classic that was the 95 version. Seriously, I've seen so many comments talking about not needing to remake this classic. The original Jumanji was a good kids film, but could really be served well with a modern version today, especially with the current technology. We didn't even get to see Jumanji in the original. The current controversy has been centred around Karen Gillan's character's wardrobe. She is wearing a crop top, shorts and boots. That's it. Not a latex bodysuit, not a stripper costume. She's wearing the same thing you can see on any night out in any western city in the world. Their website, the Mary Sue, called the outfit super sexualized. Seriously, they say this is super sexualized. This type of idiotic hyperbole annoys the shit out of me. If you really feel that the costume designer has sexualized the character, then say so and state your argument for it. But stop nailing on adjectives to make non-events like this sound as if the filmmakers were forcing Gillen to dress up in a Britney Spears schoolgirl outfit and around showing off her arse and tits as often as possible. I'm willing to bet that a character in the film will be more than capable of handling herself, and that character trait will be an active running joke in the film. If you've ever seen Karen Gillan's character in Doctor Who, then you will know very well that that character knows how to handle herself, and I would bet that the performance was what led the producers of Jumanji to see that she was capable of playing those strong characters well. Time Out actually made the Daft Ars claim that she wasn't wearing very much. As you can see, she's dressed fine. You can see her arms, it's the same as wearing a t-shirt. You can see her thighs, you can see that in shorts on men and women, and you can see her stomach. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. If you're out at the weekend and a girl was dressed like this, would any of the people complaining about her character's clothes care at all? Would, would any of them even notice? I've seen comments saying that her clothes are ridiculous because as she is in the jungle in the movie would be more exposed to cuts and bites. These people seem not to understand that this is a movie. A movie about a magical board game that sends people into another dimension. These idiots are actually trying to claim that this is a serious issue. Listen to the character names for the film. Moose Finbar. Ruby Roundhouse. Dr. Smolder Bravestone. Does that sound like they're making a dark Norwegian thriller or a big daft summer tentpole movie that's intended to be as fun as possible? Dwayne Johnson and Karen Gillan have said on Twitter that there's a reason for her character wearing those clothes. It sounds like it's going to be part of the joke. I think she looks like Lara Croft, so it might be something like that, but to be honest, I don't fucking care. She looks great, she looks very cool and very, very sexy. And since when was it a crime to have a sexy character in films? Since when was it a crime to have a girl wearing something attractive for the sake of it? We have to apologise for everything to these people. And Karen, she seems to be fine with short skirts, skirts with splits, tops showing off her stomach. She looks great. The real reason for this it is nothing to do with what she's wearing or how her character acts. The real reason for this is the SJW feminist idiot lefties that we're constantly hearing whine who want to try and make another claim here. Look at what men do to women. They want to dress us up as sex objects. It's a terrible attempt at shaming Karen Gillan and demonising the men involved in this film. And I feel sorry for the production right now. People work hard to make these sort of films and people people who do not actually give a fuck about the film or any film want to step in and ruin it. They want the ability to tell people not what they can do but everything that they won't let them do. I hope The Rock, Karen and the producers go quiet on this and let the whiners forget about it because any sort of response is a loss.